Honey child, listen here. Uh, this entire episode has me gagging. Gagging. I'm back. <laughs> Welcome back, y'all. Today is Sunday. We are about to watch episode number five, I believe, of The Real Housewives of Potomac. We have five more minutes before it starts, and then we'll get into it. <sighs> The drama is real. <laughs> so she's moving out of her mom's house. Good job, good job. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, yo, I like Candace's husband because I'm great on her. She's a brat. Like, I'm so five minutes in, I'm already irritated. Causing me a lot of anxiety. I know I'm normal, and I know I'm gonna have time with my girl. I got nothing. The first ten minutes were a bit a little boring, but after commercials, I live. <laughs> <laughs> Monique talks a lot. <laughs> oh my god. Karen is so shady. Giselle and the bird. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Alright, y'all. So I just watched episode number five and drama, drama, drama. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even know where to start. In the beginning, it was a bit boring. I mean, they were just all getting ready to go to the lake house. So they were just having little side conversations. It really did bore me for like the first 10 minutes. Candace annoyed me. I just think I'm a Candace hater, but she annoyed me in the sense where she was really being a brat and her husband was telling her, listen, you have no issues. You don't have any real issues with the other women. So you can go on this trip. Before I forget, Monique invited all of them to her lake house. So this entire episode was them preparing to go and getting there. And Candace was contemplating if she was going to go or not. But she eventually went, which I'm okay with. But she she's just a brat. Like, I find that she's a little immature in how she thinks. But that is just my opinion. But I don't know where to start. <laughs> I really don't. When I got to the lake house. There's two properties, I think, on the, the... There's two houses on the property. So they decided who was going to stay where, whatever. And Giselle and Robin decided that they were going to stay in the guest house. And everyone else is going to stay in the main house, which is whatever. But as soon as they get there, Wendy was irritated by the fact that Ashley was able to bring her child. And so she just went off on her <laughs> like off now i know i told y'all i want to see more of wendy but a child she went all the way off on her and for a moment it felt like she was jealous but then i said to myself i even said it while i was watching i'm like if you wanted to bring your child then maybe you should have said something but i understand that it is a girl's trip so she sacrificed and she did what she needed to do to make sure that she's present for the girl's trip. So I can see her point that way. But the way in which she attacked Ashley, no bueno. <laughs> like, it's a no-go for me because Ashley asked if she can bring her son and she was given the go-ahead. If she wasn't able to bring her son, maybe she would not have been able to come type deal. Like, you know what I mean? So it became this back and forth thing where... She was saying, well, you have a husband. You can leave your baby with your husband. And then Ashley was saying, my husband works. And then Wendy says, my husband's a lawyer. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And then Ashley says, my husband owns his company. Listen, these women are over 30 years old, and I swear to God. <laughs> and I'm going to sit here and watch them every Sunday and laugh because I don't understand so they went back and forth for a bit. And to me, it was a bit aggressive because I get it. When she did her confessional, she was saying that her daughter's a preemie. She was in um, the ward for a while. She came two months early. So I get it. So it took a lot for her to leave her new baby. But Ashley's a new mom, like new, new mom, zero children, first child mom. And... Wendy is three children in. So they were, the ladies were trying to tell her, listen, 
you're not a new mom. But she's like, I am a new mom. And I'm just like, okay, you have a new baby. <laughs> oh my gosh. To me, it was a bit childish, but it was it was a bit much. But too. I also saw the, the pain in her face. And when she was talking to Monique, it was kind of like, okay, finally we got to see something. But I still don't know anything about Wendy. Like, I still don't. That Even Monique said it, it's like, she wants to get to know her, but she knows nothing about her. Legit nothing. She, Dr. Wendy. Like, I don't know anything about this girl. Other than she is, she's a sharpshooter, like, for real. And she seems to be very short with the ladies. And... Maybe because of all the information that um, Candace fed her and her observations together is the reason why she's reacting the way she is. Because she sat down and she talked to Robin about Karen. Um, she went at Ashley. She was concerned about how the women were behaving towards Candace. And I personally think that she's going to have an issue with Giselle. That's just my opinion. But I don't know. I'm still iffy. I'm still on the fence about Wendy because I still personally don't know her. I don't know her personality. Like, all I see is that she's quiet. She takes everything in. And then she can snap on you. You know what I mean? I don't know if that's enough for me to say I like her. But she could hold her own. I like that. She didn't come into the group and faltered. Like, she could hold her own. I don't know. This episode was just drama in my mind. <laughs> I like the fact that Monique is actually getting the women together to, like, rebuild their friendships. Because there's all sorts of stuff happening. Now, I don't know how genuine it is. Because in the past seasons, these women can never get along. Um, there's obviously going to be a fight later on in the season. So I don't know how genuine it is. It's a nice gesture and I appreciated watching it because it looked for a slight second. It looked like they were all getting along. They traveled up. Monique, Giselle, and Karen traveled up together. It was a fun trip. Um, they seem to genuinely like each other. I don't know where it's all going to go wrong, but I like that in this episode. For me, it was good. Robin, again, she ain't got no personality. <laughs> Robin's waiting to be married. Like, her entire storyline is her waiting to get married. Like, why is she here? Like, I like her, but why is she here? <laughs> like, she... Why? Like, what's up? That's all I got for Robin, and that's all I'm going to ever have for Robin until Robin shows me something different. But for Giselle, there was a moment in the beginning of the episode where she was trying to arrange a schedule with Jamal's assistant. I'm just like, why don't you just move to where he is or have him move to where you are so you guys could be together? Because you're in a long-distance relationship with a man who I now know had children with these concubines. <laughs> Hello? She never mentioned the kids. She just mentioned that he was sleeping around the church. I found out today that he has multiple children with multiple women. So, did he really change? Or is he just getting old? Like, what? which is it? She's steadfast on this relationship working. I really hope it works for her. Um, I don't see it. She was talking about marriage here i don't see it i really don't i just i can't i can't with it she she's gonna annoy me next like i really can't. i think she's trying too hard to make it appear as if they are a solid unit nothing ever happened they matured they moved on it was 12 years ago he's a different man i don't think so but, but i don't know i think that the lake house vibe might be good for the group because this is where they get to bond. I like that. But they started playing this game at dinner. For me, it was a no-go because it was going to be a bunch of drama. 
which is why Ashley and Wendy went head to head. And then Wendy and Karen had words. Karen was the one that said Giselle's um, ex-husband had children in the congregation. <laughs> Listen, I'm sitting here trying to remember because it was so shocking that every moment in the last maybe 15 or last 20 minutes of the show was like, bam, 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 bam. I'm just like, I was gagging the entire time. <laughs> I, I don't understand. Karen and Wendy apparently know each other, but Karen acts like she doesn't know Wendy. She's never met Wendy. She has no idea where Wendy came from. And Wendy said to her, every time I'm around you, you dismiss me, which is true. It's really true. And they even showed a clip, and I was like, oh, yeah, I remember when that happened. But she's like, I don't know you. I'm just like, why is she giving all this attitude? <laughs> like, what did Wendy do to you? Did you try to sleep with Ray? <laughs> but I think that maybe they can work it out. I don't know. Karen and Ray definitely have issues. I really want her to stop calling this man whenever she goes anywhere just so that he can say, I miss you or I love you. Because he's not going to say it. She was looking for that when she called him. Not happening. Zero response. I feel like Ray just wants out of the marriage. That's how Another I feel. highlight that I liked was when Candace drove up to the guest house and wanted to have a conversation with Giselle. She, that was big of her, and I, I actually like seeing that because she was she genuinely apologized for what she did. But you can see the immaturities in her actions because of how she responded. She said that she responded the way she did to Giselle because Giselle hurt her feelings. So she just went on a rampage. For me, if you know you wanna be friends with someone, you don't ever say something that's not forgivable. You can't, don't say anything that you know you can't take back because at some point, people are gonna stop hearing your apologies and want nothing to do with you. That's just how I feel. But I appreciated the fact that she actually apologized to Giselle about what she said about her on Twitter. Um, I don't know if she touched on the Wendy thing, but definitely she apologized for her Twitter reaction to Giselle and Robin laughing at her. Because my thing is, she went after Giselle, but Robin was in the same room laughing at her too. So why not hit Robin the same way you hit Giselle? See, that's the part I don't understand. So for me... I'm a little leery about how the rest of the season is going to go because you can't pick and choose who you're going to be mad at. If they were both laughing at you, they both get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. But honestly, I really think that's it. This episode was, it was, it was fun. It was funny because I was laughing this entire time. It was really funny for me. I, I like the growth because I agree with M Monique. They're different from a year ago when they first came into the group and stuff like that. Um, because I'm going to tell you right now, I watched season one, season two, and season three. And in every season, Monique want to drag somebody. So I'm not surprised that this is happening right now. <laughs> but honestly, I think that's it for my wrap up of the Real Housewives of Potomac season five. Is it season five? Season, season five, five. Episode five. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'll see you back here next Sunday for another episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you next week.